So there's a couple of different places to place your feet on the pitching rubber before you go into your wind up. And I think it's important to really get into the nuances because I'm sure that you see different things that are being done on your travel team, in your leagues, and even on college and, and the international level. So let's go a little bit into it and talk about why and where this start is. How I was taught, um, just is because I kind of use the pitching rubber to push off of. Like I like that I could kind of lift my heel and get good push there. And also, um, usually in like your guys' fields that you're playing at, there's like a little bit of a dip here. And I like to use that to my advantage. I didn't like for it to be too deep, but I honestly didn't like for it just to be flat because I like that push off of the pitching rubber. But important that in most uh, levels and organizations, you have to have both of your feet on the pitching rubber. It's like that for college rules. So the girls that you're seeing pitch at Florida and Oklahoma, they have to have both of their feet touching the rubber in some way. This would be illegal if the umpire saw it because this foot is not touching. Now where it gets a little bit tricky, and stay with me here because this is a little bit advanced, you probably see some of them take a slight step forward. That step is okay because look at where my heel is. It's over the plane of the pitching rubber. That would still be considered legal. This foot's on, this heel is over the plane of the plate, but this, a step that way, would be illegal because my heel is no longer over the pitching rubber. Again, in college, that is how they have to pitch. Now, in the international level and in some high school levels, it's okay to start with your foot off of the pitching rubber, your back foot that is. Your front one always has to be somewhat connected, whether it's the plane of it or touching. Now what you're seeing some of the college girls do is not set up like how I was taught back in 94, 96, but their coaches are having them put their heel to the front of the pitching rubber because you know why? it gets them closer to the plate. It gets them closer to the hitter, so the ball gets on the hitter faster. Now, as long as they don't move forward when they pitch, that's totally okay. This is such a different feel, though, than this. Here, I felt like I could push against the rubber. Here, you're going more from a flat position, but still your toes and your heel are touching the pitching rubber, so it's legal. So you, try it out. Which one works for you? Is it this one? Is it this one? If I'm you, I'm going by the rules that my travel ball team plays at, like the highest level that I play at. That's how I want to practice, and that's how I want to execute my footwork in a game. If my, my high school, whenever I was playing, it was okay for that back foot to be off, just like a lot of high schools probably in your area with the rules, but I didn't, I didn't play like that in games. I didn't want to practice something to where I would then have to change it once I got to tournament ball and my travel level competition. I wanted to practice the same way every time. I would encourage you to do it the same as well.